The great Omar Daly, how are you doing, my friend? Long time no see. Hope the family is doing well. How's everything here, part of the world? Yeah, man, everything is good. Blessings, Simon. Blessings, blessings. How is everything in Jamaica? Managing, you know, one day at a time, things going well. You know, we, we have the challenges with the lockdown, but we are going the same way, you know? Just have to be That's optimistic right. and positive, you know? Which is right, which is right, yeah. which is right. Yeah, and your family all right, your side? Yeah, man, everybody is good, you know. Mom and dad is okay. Family is great on this side. Yeah, yeah man. Give yeah, but just <laughs> yeah, but just reflect that twenty years ago you go World Cup. <laughs> it's so <laughs> funny because me that watch about the um, watch about the 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 review where you do and it was a, such a really good review and I didn't even know that um out of that team, I made mm -hmm. the most appearance for the senior team, so that was that was a good looker good looker thing you know good looker reminder. It made me feel yeah, good, um, you know, the hard work I'm going to put in at that point, you know what I mean? So that really made me feel good, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, man, definitely. Your, your career speak for itself and some other players made the senior team, which was very good. So a lot of memories you had in your career. You know, you've, you've, you've made sure that you've taken care of your life off the pitch as well. You've looked beyond football. So I just wanted to know from you, how's everything going in terms of the academy you have going on in the States and in Jamaica? So firstly, on the island, you know, how are things going on the pandemic, how it affected things? Yeah, well, you know, to be honest, when it just when it just hit, um, we really struggled a little bit regarding the numbers because just the fear of the parents um, for the kids, but they after a period of time, they build up the confidence and, you know, we're doing the social distance, the training here and there. And um, no, you know, we're still, we're still pleased to say we still have the numbers. Um, and I have to give um, Craig Butler a big shout out because he actually took the time out and went down to the academy just to see the, um, the facility and, you know, and give a good review on it. Personally, I've not spoken to him on the phone yet, but in the future, we have a lot of things planned for the kids regarding to playing tournaments against each other. And, you know, Damon Williams just started his, his own academy as well in Kingston. So, you know, I love it. I'm going to tell him, I love it. I'm going to can't wait to compete against his academy and just make it a fun day and a great day for the kids. And that's something that I really look forward to. So, big up to Craig Buckler for take time out. He didn't have to because I think he has one of the hottest Jamaican baller right now, Leon Bailey. Um yeah. <laughs> In his corner, so he, he took time out, bring a team down there, play against um, my academy team, which is NSA. So you know, me have to give him that respect because he never have to come down there, and you know, me feel good about that. So big him up. Yeah, man, for real. And just so people can be aware, if they want their kid to to register or sign up, is there a website where they can go, or they just turn up in so Clarendon? We, we have a, we have an Instagram page, um, which is um, Nevada Soccer Jamaica, which is NSA. Jamaica, um, they can go there. They can go take a look at it. We have a good little father. We have a good little thing going. Um, Mr. Wigan is doing an amazing job. Um, you know, also doing Kozaro doing an amazing job. We just we just did a charity where we, we go out and we feed, um, you know, the, the the needy, and you know, it's it, it's a community thing, and we're really really pushing, really pushing, and you know what? I'm not gonna stop. You know, if if it's one thing, I I, I can tell you. I'm going to continue and, and you will live to see this. And one thing, anything I put my mind to, I'm going to do it. Um, we're going to have games where you have big tournaments. Um, we're going to have tournaments in Clarendon. Then we're going to go back to Kingston and, and do those things. Those are the things we used to do back in the days. We used to go play against Spanish Town, St. Elizabeth, um, you know. And, you know, them days gone, we want to bring it back. And, you know, that's something yeah. I'm really into right now. But here in, in Vegas, things are doing mm -hmm. well regarding mm -hmm. to the, um, back to that question, regarding to the, the academy here, which we just have a mm -hmm. kid um, going to England to um, college. And we have one here just sign again with a, a college here in the U.S. So from my team. So I'm doing OK myself, coaching wise and mentoring wise um, for the kids. And, you know, it's something I still have some more kids here right now, two months to go. We're still pushing. We've got four tournaments. They have a lot of scouts, a lot of colleges coming out to see them. I'm in dialogue every day with colleges, just talking about kids' development. Simon, I'm just blessed, man. I'm in a good position. You know what I mean? And yeah. it feels good. It feels good. 
Yeah, that's very, very good to hear. And even more good news, I'm sure you heard that, you know, the players have worked out things with the JFF and the contract. So, and you would know as a player as well, it's, it's good news when you're on the same page with, with persons you're working with. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it, it, I, I'm happy that they put the ego behind them because at this point, we don't really need the ego. There. But now the pressure is on the players because now they're going to get the, the travelling, which me understand the travelling. In a fear, sometimes you leave your club, you, you live like a star in your club and you never go to your, your country. You live like not so much of a star. You understand? It's like you have put down the ball, pick up the ball and make him come first class, stretch out him leg, get the good breakfast in the morning time when him wake up, you know. You know, they should, yeah. they, when they wake you up, they should say, good morning, Mr. Lawrence, or good morning, Mr. Low. You know, you know those are the things I may understand where them I go through. So I kind of feel them pain still. I'm glad them come to agreement and yeah. them can make the thing work. You know what I mean? And, you know, you spoke with me in the past about having that pool, having a 40-player pool or 44 players. Depth is going to be needed in a World Cup qualifying campaign. Anything can happen, injuries, suspensions, anything. Yeah, but the last time I came to Jamaica, we have this conversation. And I'm sure Tapa saw the interview. I'm sure him see it. Tapa know this. You know, him know this. Like, uh, look at that pool of players that they just brought. Uh, just now. Yeah, yeah. And the pool that we had. Uh, I'm sorry. We, we need the Leon Bailers. We need the Lowe's. We need the, the Lawrence. We, we need the money. Because you can't just bring a, a youth from England who play ball in England. He don't know the roots. He don't know the Jamaica culture. Because most of the time when the money come, we Jamaican put them onto music to any culture so they understand all the things said, you know what I mean? So we need that the core there. Now is the time. It, it never, you know, too late, you know. Now is the time mm -hmm. now if we pick from that 40 the best 28 or 30 man. And then you buckle it down right now to the 18 and that's how it was sweet. Then tackle mm -hmm. go fly in a training. So you know who is who then at that point, you know. So that's what it is. Yeah, competition for places. Oh, when yeah. you were in, yeah. oh, it's gonna be high. It's gonna be high. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. And when you were in the national setup as well, you had the likes of Marlon King and Mariapa and a lot of new people around them. So you were able to see firsthand the experience and the quality they brought from overseas to the program. Yeah, man. Because um, no disrespect, uh, I, I know a few local players probably thinking um, Omar Daly talking about bringing English players, but. It's not because I've played in England over 10 years. That's not the case. The case is, them man, they bring something to the dressing room where, no joke, me, they've got England, go learn that. Meaning you have to dig deep. You have to dig deep and fight to the end. And that's why, no disrespect to our, uh, our local players, but they have that thing in them where they them grow them through the academy. Because remember, you know, most of them English players, they used to clean boots, you know? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So we Jamaicans, we never clean the boots when we go to England, so we don't really understand. So you have to work your way through the ranks. Them players that leave from 80 pounds a month to the 80,000 pounds. So mm. them know what it is. You know, we, we need them. We, we can't we can't front. We need them. We need them. And them need we because them still a look club to you know. So when them play international football, them still a big up themselves. So everybody they need each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Makes sense. And as you say, we continue to rise in the rankings. You had some good time in Scotland. Is that a market we should be targeting as well for playing? Of course. I don't understand why. Why wouldn't want a Jamaican baller we play on an it or a Watos or a Puma United? Right? Mm -hmm. No one go play in a Scotland where you have 60, 70,000 people that watch you at Celtic Park, at Rangers. Steven Gerrard just put value on Scotland again by beating Celtic. You know what happened next season? Sell mm. because I'm gonna spend every penny that they have because they cannot lose next season. <laughs> it's gonna be a rivalry. Gerard don't know him start by beating Celtic this year in the Scottish Premier League. Trust me, me, me I'm gonna tune into that league <laughs> and watch it non stop now because it's gonna be a dark fight. Yeah, so it's wow. a great market. I'm not sure why. Why well, I may tell you the agent them sometime, you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the MLS to sweep them up and put them in the MLS and they're all right. Because even Alvas Powell, even Alvas Powell, I tell Alvas, Alvas, Europe, Alvas should have been in Europe after Alvas break out here, Europe. Um, I'm happy that um, Taxi now, see yeah. the light. I know so the MLS, MLS, you're just going to have you and then the more trade and do all these things to you. But in a Europe, the contract is more guaranteed. I tell you, I kid you not. 
I kid you not. It's more guaranteed because the, the, the MLS own you. And I don't like that about the MLS. That's why I'm never too interested to play the MLS. Yeah. Wow. You know, that's really deep in, in mm -hmm. terms of everything and everything. I appreciate your time, boss. I really hope we can stay in touch. When you're coming on the island, man, what for link, man? Yeah, man. We're definitely, definitely. But big up Simon, man. I'm putting the work. And you know the thing set. You know what I mean? Give thanks. Yeah, man. I appreciate it, boss.